ang ang mahalaga doon yung tao, no? May sinis may sinisig na pay na tao. Ang Panginoon sa Kristo, siya Dios, pero kumuha siya ng katawan. Nagkatawag tao para siya ay makalapit sa tao ng personal. Kaya napakalaga yung ano eh, personal relationship. Uh, gumawa na ng Panginoon ng means, no? Personally, bumaba siya. He condescended to man. Nakipag-usap personally. No? Pagkatapos, uh, sasabihin ng iba na ano daw, huwag uh, daw may magkaroon ng personal relation sa Panginoon sa Kristo. Yung mga nagtuturo na wag ka, wag magkaroon ng personal relationship sa ating Panginoon, yun yung mga nagtuturo na ano, ang ina-highlight yung iglesia. Kasi ang Panginoon sa Kristo, hindi siya personal savior. Kundi para sa kanila ay He is a congregational savior. Hmm, tagapagligtas ng iglesia. Kaya ang pinagbibigyan na sa doktrina yun, umalig ka doon sa kanilang church. Para kay maligtas. Maging member ng church. Dahil pag di ka maging member sa kanilang church, hindi ka maligtas. Yung personal relation, hindi yung makapagliligtas sa'yo. Ang makapagliligtas sa'yo, yung iglesia. Dahil yung ililigtas ni Kristo, yun ang maling pagtuturo nila. Uh, kasi yun nga, yung kasing mag, mag on, ano nga eh, uh, matalino sila eh. Una, ta- tama yung kanilang realization na kung o oh, yamang itinuturo nila na yung iglesia nila ang ililigtas, so mawawalan talaga ng visa sa kanilang doktrina. Mawawalan ng visa yung pagiging kaligtasan through personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Eh ngayon, isang ano lang po sila ng peace, isang uh, verse, basically, uh, doon lang sila kasi ng Lord for the faith. Hmm. Kaya yun, yung pinakawa ko ng faith. Hmm. At ito naman si Sariano, ang sa kanya naman, kaya naman ayaw niya, sinasabi ko, yung INC, no, hindi niya. Sa dating daan naman, kaya din hindi sila naniniwala sa personal relationship, kaya nila din i-discourage yan. Kasi nga, eh, dahil nga doon sa limitadong interpretasyon naman ni Soriano sa salitang personal. Para sa kanya, eh, ano, yung possession. Pag personal, something may possess. At kapag personal possession mo na, hindi na po pwede maging pag-aaral, di ba? Hindi na personal possession ang tinutukoy doon. Ang sinasabi lang, yung personal, sabi, malapitan, di ba? Malapitan, intimate. Yung ang kawalaga nung close, closeness. No? Very close relationship. Hindi possession. Personal possession agad yun. Kung baga, yung personal, ikinabit agad sa possession. Kasi, in example na yung toothbrush, eh. Uh, yung toothbrush mo ba, uh, i- i- uh, papagamit mo ba sa iba? Eh, sa iyo. Kaya lang, ikaw lang pwedeng gumamit nun. Ganun ang ginawa niya example eh. So napakalimitado at napaka babaw na kanyang paniwala sa lektang personal, no? So, isa ben, person to person ang ibig sabihin ng personal na ginamit doon, no? Uh, personal relationship it is ano, uh, closeness, intimacy. Oh. Ay kaya nga nung uh, si Apostle Paul nga eh, 'di ba? Pag Pag binasa mo yung Galatians 2, verses 16 hanggang 20, yung, pan- yung pagkilala sa Panginoon sa Kristo, very personal sa kanya. Ah. Ito ang sabi niya doon sa uh, Galatians. So, isa, but ito ko lang mabasahin no, sa, sa verse 20. Na, dito yung punto na talagang napaka-personal si Jesus Christ sa kanya. Sabi niya, Okay, basahin ko muna 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. And then pagdating dito sa, sa 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live. But Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, 
who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the Lord, then Christ died in vain. O, pinersonalize na yung ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. No? Baga, di ba, nagtuturo siya. Nasa sulat din niya, Christ died for us. No? Uh, Christ loved us, di ba? Pero dito, pasinin mo, who loved me and gave himself for me. No? Di ba, pang, yun ang personal. So, pwede mong i-personal. At personal naman talaga, hindi yun ang Uh, Panginoon, hindi ba pag tumawag ang Panginoon ni sa Kristo? Eh, individual naman siya tumawag eh. Diba? Individual ang pagtawag ng Panginoon sa kaligtasan. Hmm. Hindi congregational. Diba? Pero yung individual na tinawag niya sa kaligtasan, ipapasok ngayon sa kongregasyon. Diba? Kaya magkakaroon ng kongregasyon, Resulta yun ng pagtawag individual sa kaligtasan. Resulta yun ng personal relationship sa kanya ng bawat individual mag-result sa isang congregation, sa isang church. So, okay na po? People will acknowledge Jesus Christ as a good man, a great teacher, or even a prophet of God. These things are definitely true of Jesus, but they do not fully define who he truly is. The Bible tells us that Jesus is God in the flesh, God in human form, see John 1 colon 1, 14. God came to earth to teach us, heal us, correct us, forgive us, and die for us. Jesus Christ is God, the Creator, the Sovereign Lord. Have you accepted this Jesus? What is a Savior, and why do we need a Savior? The Bible tells us that we have all sinned, we have all committed evil acts, Romans 3 colon 10 18. As a result of our sin, we deserve God's anger and judgment. The only just punishment for sins committed against an infinite and eternal God is an infinite punishment, Romans 6 23, Revelation 20 colon 11 15. That is why we need a Savior. Jesus Christ came to earth and died in our place. Jesus' death was an infinite payment for our sins, 2 Corinthians 5:21. Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins, Romans 5:8. Jesus paid the price so that we would not have to. Jesus' resurrection from the dead proved that his death was sufficient to pay the penalty for our sins. That is why Jesus is the one and only Savior, John 14:6. Acts 4.12 Are you trusting in Jesus as your Savior? Is Jesus your personal Savior? Many people view Christianity as attending church, performing rituals, and slash or not committing certain sins. That is not Christianity. True Christianity is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Accepting Jesus as your personal Savior means placing your own personal faith and trust in Him. No one is saved by the faith of others. No one is forgiven by doing certain deeds. The only way to be saved is to personally accept Jesus as your Savior, trusting in His death as the payment for your sins and His resurrection as your guarantee of eternal life. John 3.16 Is Jesus personally your Savior? If you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, say the following words to God. Remember, Saying this prayer or any other prayer will not save you. Only believing in Jesus Christ and His finished work on the cross for you can save you from sin. This prayer is simply a way to express to God your faith in Him and thank Him for providing for your salvation. God, I know that I have sinned against you and deserve punishment. But I believe Jesus Christ took the punishment I deserve so that through faith in Him I could be forgiven. I receive your offer of forgiveness and place my trust in you for salvation. I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. Thank you for your wonderful grace and forgiveness, the gift of eternal life. Amen. Hold me close till I get up. Time is better.